What's up you guys? Welcome back to Mo Money's channel. For today's video, I actually had to watch a tutorial myself on how to make this recipe. So today what I'm going to make for you guys is mole. To make today's video for the mole, I had to watch um, a video on YouTube how to make it. Yeah, so her YouTube channel is called De Mi Rancho Tu Cocina. I'll put the link in the description box. Um, so she makes super dope food, you guys, and like a little old school stove. So I kind of wish I had that set up just to kind of um, see what the food would taste like if I made it like that. So if you guys want to check out the video, I will put it um, in the description box. So growing up, my mom didn't know how to make mole, so she would just um, like buy the Doña Maria one, the one that's like in the cup. Um, so she never knew how to make it, which is why I don't know how to make it. So my mom's actually going to be helping me with this recipe. So let me show you guys what we're going to need. You're going to need chicken. So I do recommend that actually I strongly recommend you guys use the bone in chicken. Do not use breast for this just because I feel like um, the bone in chicken tastes way better um, than the breast. The breast usually comes out dry when you boil it and when it comes out when you boil chicken with bone in um the meat's usually softer and it does give the food more flavor so so i got two of these and then i got one of these but you guys can buy like whatever style chicken you want but this is the one that i'm using you're going to need chile pasilla you're going to need chile mulato you are going to need chile negro you're going to need chile serrano you're going to need ginger. You're going to need bolillo. I couldn't find no bolillo in the store. They ran out. So this was like the closest thing that I found to it. Um, she basically used like a piece of bread. So this is what I'm going to use. You're going to need abuelita chocolate. You're going to need clavos. You're going to need pimienta negra. And you're going to need allspice. So in the video, she says you have to use... Pimienta grande y pimienta chiquita. So I didn't even know that there was like a big one and a little one, um, but I googled it. So apparently pimienta grande is um, the allspice. So you're going to need both. Ginger. You're going to need sesame seeds. Crackers. Tomatoes. Tomatillos. And tortillas. Garlic. And white onion. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to boil the chicken. I literally just put it on the stove. The next thing I'm going to add is white onion. This is a little more than half of the onion. Since I'm making a lot of chicken, I have a handful of garlic cloves. And I'm going to add the salt. And the salt is to your liking, guys. Okay, guys, so what we're doing right now is we are deveining the chile. What we're doing is we're taking out the veins out of the chile. And we're also taking out the seeds. So you want to do this to all your chiles. And this is what your chile should look like, you guys. Son mexicanas van a saber, Monique. Ma, aunque son mexicanas, hay muchachas que no saben. Y les tenemos que enseñar. Okay? Also, you guys, we are using 10 chiles of each. We're using 10 chiles of each kind. So, in total, it's going to be about 30 chiles. And we're kind of making a lot. We're making all of this. Okay guys, so I put a little bit of oil to heat up in this pan. Now, I'm going to throw in about six or seven garlic cloves. A piece of onion. A chile serrano. You are also going to throw in one tomato and one tomatillo. And my mom said you want to take out the garlic as soon as it starts turning like a uh, gold or a little toasted because then it gets um, bitter. We're also removing the onion now. Oh. 
And we're going to let the, the tomato and the chile cook, so it's not done yet. Okay, guys, you're also going to throw in one tortilla to fry. Once the tortilla is nice and toasted, we're going to take it out. We're going to take out our tomatillo now. Now we're throwing in our chiles. Cuidado con esto porque si se les pasa de de dorado sale amargoso. So make sure you guys don't leave them in there for too long because they will taste bitter. So you don't want to burn them too much. And we're gonna throw all of them in, but just so that they fry evenly, we're just throwing in little by little. And I want to remind you guys, it's 10 chile mulatos, 10 chile negros, and 10 chile pastilla. Okay, so now we're going to take them out. We literally only left them in there for about two to three minutes. And now we're going to take them out. And now we're doing the next batch. While my mom is doing that, what I'm going to do next. So our chicken is now done. I let it boil since it is a lot of chicken. I let it boil for about maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Okay guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get caldo from the chicken and I'm going to put it in this bowl. Okay guys, so I filled it up about this much. It's going to soak in here and it's gonna make the chile soft for when we blend them and put them in the blender. So we're gonna let them hang out in there for a few minutes. Okay guys, now you're going to put your bolillo um, or whatever type of bread you're using to fry also. All right guys, and we're just gonna toast it a little bit and then we're gonna take it out. And we're gonna throw it in with the rest of our ingredients. I also threw in my tortilla in here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a pack of the Ritz crackers and we're also going to fry them. Alright guys, so my mom just took out the crackers. the crackers. See how they're a little toasty? And we're going to throw them in here. Okay, so since I do need all of this to be covered so it can get a little soggy for when I put it and um, to blend with the blender, I'm going to put more caldo. So you just want to make sure your chiles are nice and covered along with your crackers and stuff. We're also going to put, a ver, ¿qué tienes ahí? Una tablilla de chocolate. So she just opened up one tablet of the abuelita and we're also going to throw it in our mixture right here. So this is going in um like just like that so it could start disintegrating. Okay, so ¿qué traes ahí? Pimientas. Okay, ¿es el chiquito o el grande? Chiquitas. Okay, so that's the small pepper, you guys. So the lady just said grab a bunch, like a, like a little bunch with your hand. She don't have measurements, typical Mexican mom. Okay. And then that's the allspice. Pimentón. Pimentón in Spanish, the allspice. El clavo. Clavo. Also, just grabbing a little bunch with your hand. Okay. Okay, guys, so there's no measurements. She didn't put no measurements in the video. Uh, así. Un puñito. Also, así. that's her measurement. I guess it makes sense to Mexican moms. Uh, but to those of us who don't really know measurements like that, uh, basically, it's about this much. So this is the clavo, the um, the cloves, the um, small pepper, and the allspice. We are also going to throw them in to fry just a little bit. And these you don't want to leave them in for too long. You just want to throw them in and then take them out. So that oi, so that fast. You're supposed to grind up your pepper. So you're supposed to grind up your small pepper, the large pepper, and the garlic cloves. So I'm using my molcajete. So you 
guys can put uh, a towel or something on top of the pepper. Um, that way when you're smashing it, it doesn't like go all over the place. So you want to make sure this is super grinded up. Okay guys, so now we're going to toast our sesame seeds. This will require no oil. Okay guys, so this is the pan that we're using to toast the sesame seeds. There is no oil in here. And be careful because it's kind of jump a little bit. Okay guys, so we literally only toasted this for about maybe three to four minutes. And we're also going to throw it in here. Whoa. Okay guys, so this is the piece of ginger that we're using. My mom peeled it. We're only using a little bit. We're also going to fry it. Okay guys, so we fried the ginger just a little bit and we're also going to put it in here. So I am about to put my ingredients in the blender. So since this is kind of like a big thing of all my ingredients, I'm going to have to do it uh, maybe in two or three blends. Um, so I'm gonna have to do it little by little also I have a hot pan here with oil So that way my mole doesn't stick. It's already heated. It's just waiting for me to put the mole in there Okay guys, so I'm going to start throwing in the ingredients in the blender And everything is supposed to be soggy you guys so don't get scared, okay? And you guys, I'm also going to add salt. So like I said, I couldn't fit everything in. So this is going to be for the next round. Um, but for now, I'm going to add salt. And it's salt to your liking, you guys. So I'm just going to add this much for now. And we're going to blend. Okay, guys. So I have my mole in here. Now I'm going to throw it in the hot pan. And I put a little bit of oil just so it doesn't stick. Okay guys, so now we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar, which is how much she used in her mole. So that's one. And that's two. And she said this does not make it sweet, it just gives it flavor. And now we're gonna stir it in. And I have this on low fire also. That looks so bomb. I'm so ready to eat. All right, guys. So I do recommend you guys do a taste test. Um, you guys could always add more salt if it needs some. I do want to add, me and my mom, we did throw in another tablet of La Abuelita chocolate. You guys don't have to add an extra tablet, but we did. So we ended up putting in two tablets of La Abuelita chocolate. All right, guys. So once this is heated up, you're going to start throwing in your chicken. Mm -hmm. And you're going to let the chicken cook in here for a few minutes. Okay, guinea pigs, how's it going? It's really good. Good. You guys it's like it? I love yeah, this it's one bomb. is a must. You have to make this for your family. Like it's a must. It. Yeah. Well, and you guys I, enjoy it. I eat mine. You have to like but I mix it. I don't mix mine. That's like I mix Oh, mine. you guys I mix, mix it. Okay. With the rice. I'm I'm trying to take Making a off. little spread over here. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the final result. Here goes my mole. It looks so fire. My mom got down on the rice. Look at how bomb that looks, you guys. I cannot wait to try it. So bomb. All right, guys, you guys know what time it is it's from my freaks. So I'm doing my famous fetish fight. I got my mole. I got my rice. All right, so I'm going to grab a piece of tortilla. I got a little mole on it, but it's okay. And then I'm going to put some of my chicken on here. And I'm going to make sure I put some of the mole sauce. And then I'm going to put some rice on it. Little mole taco. Alright. Mm-hmm. Fucking fire, you guys. I had to like dip my tortilla in here because it's that fucking bomb. 
Ага. Fucking fire, you guys. Alright, guys, and that completes today's video. I hope you guys love this recipe. Shout out to Doña Maria who showed us how to make this recipe. Her channel's name is De Mi Rancho a Tu Cocina. Again, I will put the link to her channel in the description box. Also, I will put the ingredients in the description box. Let me know if you guys make your mole a little different from what I made it. Let me know if you guys add anything different in it. Don't forget to send me your guys' videos of the food that you guys make of my channel, you guys. Uh, don't forget to send me pictures. You guys know I will repost you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel.